This week in science, we're at Oceanside talking about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. That's a mass of floating trash about twice the size of Texas and a potent symbol of humanity's impact on the environment. And while efforts are now underway to remove that garbage, some new research is hinting at a possible complication. You may have heard the Great Pacific Garbage Patch referred to as Trash Island, but it's not a solid mass and you can't walk on it. It's more like a dense soup of plastic waste transported there by ocean currents. There are several of these patches and various water bodies on Earth, but the one in the North Pacific is by far the largest. Estimates about its size and density vary wildly, but it's thought to contain about 250 pieces of garbage for every human being on the planet. And aside from being unsightly and distressing, it's bad for the health of the local wildlife, which can mistake the colorful plastic items for food. And once those chemicals enter the food chain, it doesn't take long before humans start being affected too. The largest effort currently underway to remove some of that garbage is the Ocean Cleanup Project, based in the Netherlands. But here we hit a possible complication. Some preprint research stemming from an 80-day sailing expedition through the patch suggests some animals have come to rely on that floating garbage as part of their habitat. Specifically, a class of strange and seldom studied creatures called Neustin, which include violet snails, blue sea dragons, and the Portuguese man -o -war. The researchers noticed that the abundance of Neustin life was higher in areas where the trash was thickest, and there was even evidence these creatures were reproducing within the patch. The ocean cleanup says its system is designed to not catch sea life, but that still raises a question. By sweeping the ocean clear of garbage, are we effectively destroying an artificial ecosystem? The short answer, it is way too early to draw any conclusions about this. First, the research has not been peer-reviewed yet. Second, the ocean cleanup is still in its research and development phase. And third, we just don't know a lot about Neustin, because going out to study them requires sailing to the middle of the Pacific, which is hard and expensive. While there's no doubt that ocean plastic is a serious problem, many scientists will argue that the best way to address it is to keep trash from entering the ocean to begin with. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.